executive editor at mm and &M. I'm here today with Jeannie Martel, president and managing partner at Clinical Mind. Thank you for being here today. So what would you say are the biggest challenges facing women in healthcare marketing today? Well, I'd like to start with the positive. And I think that, um, at least as far as I'm concerned, there is a lot of opportunity in this industry for women. I think I am an example of that. My organization is an example of that. We have many women in key uh, roles, including the majority of our management team, uh, technology, scientific, uh, accounts. Um, I think if you're willing to work hard and put in the time and effort, that, that really the opportunities are endless. But this industry is not for the faint of heart. Whether you're a man or a woman, I think it comes with some challenges. It is a very demanding and stressful job. Being in client service, you're always, you know, available for clients, you know, urgent requests and things that, you know, come in that uh, require your attention. And that is hard to balance, you know, at times. I think one of the other challenges is the pharmaceutical industry does tend to be a male-dominated industry, and you just have to be yourself. How can healthcare agencies and companies better recognize women in the workplace? So I think we have to be a little careful that we don't stereotype what motivates women versus men, um, because everybody's an individual. With that said, I think that there are things that we can do that benefit everybody that especially help women. So, for example, I think we can all agree that women should receive equal pay. I think that's a given. I'm not going to debate you know, that or talk about that in, in, in terms of a societal issue. But monetary value, it, while it's very important, I don't think that that is always the sole motivator for women, or even sometimes the primary motivator for women. A lot of agencies, from what I hear, have done away with comp time, and I think that's really a mistake. I mean, I think people, male or female, when you've been on the road and you're traveling, you need that time back to you know, get grounded again and do the things that you need to do for your family. So just there's a lot of things I think that we can do um, that help everybody in the organization, but maybe especially help women. What is one piece of advice you would give to women starting their careers in healthcare marketing? So I don't think I could give just one piece of advice. Okay. I think I would, I, I probably have to also as you can tell, I, I take things from my personal experience and I think I can, that's really the only way that I can answer these questions. So I think the first thing I would say is don't be scared off. I think there is a lot of opportunity here if you're willing to work hard and put in the time. And I think that, uh, you know, the second piece of advice I would give is don't be afraid to give your opinion. Take risks, put yourself out there. Not everybody will appreciate your opinion, as I've learned but the ones who do will be life-changing in your career. What key issue for women do you think would help drive gender parity forward? Unfortunately, and this is my opinion, I don't think there's any one issue that's gonna drive parity. I think that, sadly, um, gender parity is still an issue in our society. And I think as leaders of organizations, what we can really do is help the women that are in our organizations to you know, help women achieve parity there. And, um, and as women, we can continue to be advocates and shine the light um, when we see inequities happening and, and support the women around us. And that's what I plan to do. Well, I think that should be it. Thank you so much for being here today. Thank you for having me.